Okay, there it is. With the cod. I don't have the cables in it yet. We will be running the cables through shortly. I just See if it boots. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Welcome everyone. Yes, you saw the intro correctly. In a couple days ago, I did a liquid cooled Raspberry Pi. I also compared uh, different fans and heat sinks for the Raspberry Pi. And I just like doing these type of things on the Raspberry Pi because it's an inexpensive single board computer with a huge community around it. So you can there's a lot of data out there, analytics, things like that. Um, what I was just showing you was, um, you know, that with just the liquid cooling, I was able to get it under 40 degrees Celsius. In this video, we're going to take my refrigerator and see my ice maker here. I just, I just came up with this idea, like, what if I ran the cables through the ice maker, take the ice off, and then go ahead and run the cables through, because that would actually make a seal, and I could still have the Raspberry Pi dipped in oil in my refrigerator. Um, I figured that the oil would protect because the reason why you wouldn't just put a raspberry pi in a freezer or fridge by that matter um, is that there's a certain made amount of dew or water uh, around and that would short circuit it now mineral oil as you know in previous videos is a non-conductive oil and i just figured it'd be really tough to get fluid to get um, any kind of you know dew or water through the oil so what i'm doing here is i'm putting my raspberry pi soaked in mineral oil aquarium into the freezer i emptied out a shelf and then i'm running the hdmi cable and the power and then the 2.4 gigahertz dongle i know i mentioned bluetooth later in the video but it's a 2.4 gigahertz dongle to a wired air mouse um, to run the whole thing so step number one pie in the freezer clear some shell space the pie's hanging out with the Alaskan cod. All right, we've got it in. We got it wired up. It's not exactly where I want it, but it's submerged. No electrical components showing through the ice maker. The moment of truth. See if it boots. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we get any Bluetooth from here. Oh yeah. We keep going, we're going through the door. Oh wow. Okay, um, let's go ahead and uh, check our temps really quick. 10 degrees. <laughs> 10 degrees. <laughs> 10 degrees. <laughs> okay. All right, let's run this again. Oh, we went up to 12 degrees, peeps. Okay, and just so you know, I mean, look at this monitor. How do we know you're telling the truth here? Drew talks. Okay, well, look at the wires here. There's two wires going into the fridge. There's no wires going anywhere else. Okay, there's no wires underneath. There's just this one orange wire for power. And we've got power to the monitor, power to the Pi. Everything else is Wi-Fi. There's no, you can see there's no dongles. There's no HDMI dongles. <laughs> so it's hovering on 12 degrees on idle. Let's go ahead and crank it up. Let's run the CPU test here. Enter. All right, what you guys guess for how hot it's gonna be? My guess is maybe 20 degrees. Seventeen degrees. Do you guys see that? Sixteen degrees. Sixteen degrees. Fifteen degrees. Sixteen degrees. <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna go down back to thirteen already. <laughs> it's back down to what it had fourteen. To where it started. Okay, let's run another one. Alright, and this one I'm gonna run a quick temp check and then we're going to run it run it through the suspense like back to back pretty quick 20 degrees all right we got it up to 20. all right let's run it 19 degrees it actually dropped a little bit 18 degrees 17 degrees 
15 degrees. 15 degrees. So there you have it. The first that I know of, a Raspberry Pi 3 or any single board computer at that rate, submerged in mineral oil and then in a freezer. Now, I was thinking about this more and maybe the fridge would have actually been a little bit better of a bet. Um, because the freezer just wouldn't work, I don't think, over time. I think it would definitely wear and tear a little too cold. And then also, I don't think the oil would free. I'm not really entirely sure, uh, to be honest with you, what would have ended up happening. Um, that's why I didn't leave it in there for too long. But I can absolutely move this to the fridge and then run the wires. There is a transition from the fridge to the freezer and then run it through the door. Um, I know most of you have probably lost you by now and you're like, wow, you're really thinking about this. You know, the practicality of this is absolutely non-existent. I just wanted to do it to do it because I thought, hey, what's the next biggest extreme thing? And a lot of people write on the comments and things like that and we're like, well, you could throw it in a freezer. And uh, I always thought that was a great idea. And obviously you wouldn't do that with a normal computer because of, again, the moisture, the water. But because it was in mineral oil, I was like, you know, this might actually work. And uh, no pies were harmed in the making of all this. You know, it's still right. Raspberry Pi 4 is still running. It is not in my freezer, though. I did remove it shortly after this video. Uh, but as I mentioned, putting it in the fridge, I think, might actually uh, work. Um, it is messy. It is hard to open in and out. So, yeah, you're all right in the comments. But I wanted to do it just to say I did it. And you have all just been a part of history so anyways, let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you would have, uh, you know, had any, you know, I should have done this or done that. But, um, you know, as you saw, it was effective. Um, liquid cooling gave me about 38 degree, 37 degree uh, max. Freezer cooling, it gave me a 20 degree max, which is significant to say the least. But again, not practical. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.